Hi guys, welcome back to the vlogs. lunch right now I'm headed to Amara which is this really cute restaurant by the water that I love and one of my friends is actually leaving tomorrow for like a couple or so months so we're grabbing lunch with her and catching up before she leaves and it's just been the craziest day went to a quick Chanel event for Basel which I showed you guys a little bit of like snippets but I didn't get to shoot too much inside I was just kind of in and out um, and then I came back and I had a bunch of work to get done and now I'm headed to lunch. So long story short, I'm excited to get some coffee. I love this place. It's so cute. I highly recommend if you guys are in Miami, if you live here visiting, it's a really cute spot. And I feel like a lot of people don't go to this restaurant or know of it. Um, so definitely check it out if you're in the area. I know what you're going through. I'll be waiting up for you. finished lunch and I had a bunch of coffee and french fries and we had some guac and chips and it was so good it was such like a good in between meals snack I guess um, and now I'm gonna head back home and do a bunch of work but before we get into everything else I wanted to give a big thank you to Hilma for sponsoring today's YouTube video so if you guys are not familiar with Hilma they're a natural alternative to over-the-counter products they are all doctor and science backed they invest in clinical studies to prove that their formulas actually work. Right now I feel bloated because I have french fries. There's something about flying and traveling or eating like food at the airport or plain food that sometimes can make me really bloated and it's so uncomfortable. Also, if I'm, if I'm having like too many carbs, which is a thing that I tend to do because I love carbs. And if I have too much coffee, um, it's just been great, especially like if I'm bloated, like I said, if I'm traveling or if I have a photo shoot going on or whatever else is going on. This person's literally watching me film in my car is so uncomfortable. I've been trying out these three products from Hilma for like the last several weeks. The first one that I love is the gas and bloat relief and the main ingredient in here is peppermint leaf and then the stomach reset. The main ingredient here is koji berries and then the upset stomach relief and the main ingredient is chamomile. So I am actually really shocked at how quickly these work and how well they work. I usually will take the gas and bloat relief after like I eat something and I feel like I need it um, and it works really well and it works great in the moment and this is a prime example like right now because I have french fries and coffee and sometimes it also has to do with like if I'm not drinking enough water or sleeping well enough or like working out enough or whatever else is going on with my body it just gets more bloated than other times and if I have like if it's uncomfortable or it might be going and I have like a photo shoot or an event and in Miami you don't wear as many layers as in New York City so it's a little bit more difficult you want to feel comfortable Comfortable. I love taking it. It's been really really helpful in those moments and I have to say I've been really impressed So I'm actually going to take a couple of the gas and bloat relief By the way, I have water in here. I don't have more coffee So I had to grab some water because I just felt so dehydrated after having that coffee If you guys are interested in trying out Hilma, you can get 20% off your order with my code Gargana20 I'm gonna have it written right here. Everything is also linked down in the description below as always It's Art Basel week in Miami and I've actually never been to Art Basel At all like when I lived in New York, I never came down to Miami for Art Basel. So this is actually my first Art Basel, I feel like I'm gonna say Art Basel like 50 million times. I'm really excited because I've never experienced it, um, but I'm also traveling at some point this week as well, so I'm not gonna be here for the whole week 
but I guess that's fine. I'm going to get to experience a few days of it at least. Yeah, it's also really fun when there's like events because I have a lot of my like out of state friends come in. So it's fun to catch up with them and like do all of that stuff and see them. So that's really exciting, especially in my case because I moved. I move a lot, but I also move from New York, so I have a lot of friends still there. Um, so that's really exciting. So yeah, this is my first Art Basel week. I've never done it, and I guess now that I live in Miami, I have no excuse but to like see what it's all about. Um, so I had one of the events this morning. My schedule is pretty calm and chill. I always keep my schedule really calm and chill, or as much as I can, to be honest. It still gets pretty hectic mixing in like new things to do that weekend like new events with my like current schedule but i try to do things that i would enjoy and i don't force myself to go to things that i wouldn't want to go to um and i want to like support brands that i love and things like that so i try to only do things that i would actually want to go to i had my first event this morning and then i have a few other things i have several things tomorrow so i'm going to bring you guys to that for sure and then a few things on thursday and friday and then i'm leaving and I'm gonna be vlogging that as well, so don't worry. But for now, we're here for our Basel, we're doing the whole thing. Um, yeah, pretty much it for now. I have to run back and get started on emails and I have to send in an ad for approval and then I also have several other things to do. I have so many random errands. I also have to go look at fabric swatches for the next collection. And then, hold on, I need to zoom this out. I have to go look at fabric swatches for the next collection. And I had something else on my to-do list. Oh, I need to apply to get my passport updated. It's about to expire soon, and I wanna get ahead of the game so I'm not without a passport in case I have to travel somewhere out of the country, et cetera, et cetera. So I need to go figure out what I need for that. And I think I need to get a new photo taken. I definitely need to get a new photo taken. If you see my passport photo, you will freak out. Lau laughs every time when we travel and I, he like looks at my passport photo because he laughs. I, I mean, I was a child, I was a child. But I was a child and I was young and you know, we've changed a lot, you know. We've matured, we've grown, we figured out how to do our hair and makeup. Yeah, it's a lot of things. So it's funny. I look so different in my uh, Passport photo because I think it was taken when I was like 15 16 some somewhere around there. Yeah, it's just funny So I'm so 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 I've been counting down the years to get a new passport so I can get my photo updated And I'm really excited for that actually um, so I need to figure out what I need for that and then I'm um, finishing up some office work things and then yeah, oh I have oh Shoot, what time is it? I have Pilates class. I have a Pilates class in an hour. I haven't had a chance to work out in the last week, so I'm really, really excited. I booked a Pilates class because I just really want to work out, especially before events start tomorrow and I'm traveling. I just want to get in a Pilates class and just feel better. Um, so I'm going to take an hour for myself and go work out and then go back to work, go back home and work and work. Yeah, so that's exciting. But I'm really excited to have you guys experience Art Basel with me for the first time. Again, don't get your hopes up. Nothing crazy is going on. My schedule is kind of changing day by day and I'm going with the flow. But I think it will be a fun fun week. So we'll see what we're doing. Um, I'm obviously bringing you guys along with me. Stricken cactus and it starts to rain The smell of steamed asphalt scented Novocaine Nature's brew of all kinds of things The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes Makes you forget about all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder I just finished a quick Zoom call and now I'm off to run some errands and go to the store. I need to potentially get something for tonight. Um, and I spoke too soon yesterday. I have a pretty busy night tonight 
and confirmations that I got for a few events. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to make everything. I won't be able to make everything that I want it to go to. Unfortunately, I'm kind of bummed, um, but there's a Prada event that I really wanted to go to that I can't go to, and I love Prada, so. It's okay, there's gonna be another one, but I can't make that, but I think I'm gonna be able to make everything else. I believe so, but I don't know, I'm excited. I'm bringing Lyle with me, so that should be fun. I love spending time with him, and I love doing fashion stuff with him because he loves fashion, like as a hobby. Obviously, he doesn't work in fashion or anything like that, but he just enjoys fashion for what it is, so I love doing stuff like that with him, and he's also like my partner in crime, so there's no one else I'd rather go with than him um, but yeah that's pretty much it so I'm bringing Lyle with me so I'm excited for that but I am not I don't like staying out late I don't like partying or drinking on like a weekday like I used to when I was 22 and would, would be out like Monday through Sunday I don't do that anymore so I'm like I need to mentally prepare throughout the day that I'm going to be going out tonight um, but I'm not gonna be partying or drinking or anything like that might just have like a glass of wine or champagne. I don't know, I'm going with the flow. Um, but I'm bringing my Helmo with me <laughs> because I have a dinner tonight and um, then I don't know what's in store for after that. So I definitely need to make sure I feel my best in case my stomach decides to act up once again. Um, so yeah, I'm heading out. I'm about to go grab a car and go to the first location. The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes Makes you forget about all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfy the times and make you wonder About the bigger picture in your life The simple times in the Arizona thunder The Arizona thunder tonight It's all behind ya Mirage of agua The stars above ya The creatures days To nocturnal days Makes you forget About all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfy the times And make you wonder About the bigger picture In your life The simple in the Arizona thunder, the Arizona thunder tonight. my everyday easy quick makeup and then um throwing on my outfit and then heading to dinner i pretty much went and ran some errands i think i need an outfit because i didn't know what i was gonna wear so i got a couple things and then i did work so i literally just worked and i had lunch and then now i'm getting ready doing my makeup having some coffee putting on my outfit and running out the door to the first event of this evening Another end of the night, here I am by your side again I couldn't hide what I've been keeping inside So I tried to deny it again And tonight feels different Maybe something is different
and what a night it's not even late it's 10 12 p.m. but um, I stay up late you guys I stay up late but when I stay up late I'm working and that's like my comfort zone I don't stay up late partying anymore I do once in a while don't get me wrong I mean you guys have seen it in the vlog sometimes I'll bring you with me like but it's for occasions like birthdays events concerts whatever not usually so my body can't hang anymore and you know what it's I just get sleepy and I can't stop yawning 21 year old me would be so upset because I swear when I was 21 20 22 23 whatever I would be like oh no I'm never gonna I'm always gonna love this I'm never gonna grow out of it and then me at 28 just turned 28 and but we're just getting food right now. We went to one of our really good friends' events, said hi, loved catching up with her. And then we're getting food and then we're heading to a um, Palm Angels and Montclair event. And then I think we're calling it a night after. So that's kind of the um, schedule for the rest of the evening. Anything you wanna say, babe? No, no, it's just good vibes on the about during the week. It's fun. It's a Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's good vibes. It's a Wednesday, so it's a little... Yeah, it's great vibes. All right, first Basel, first... Well, what did we do yesterday? Was today really the first... I mean, I did an event yesterday, but I guess today's day two. Yeah, today's like the first... I think it's... Keeping it low-key. Basel's key. officially I, December 2nd through the 5th, officially. So it starts tomorrow, te technically speaking. These are like pre-Basel You know more events. than I do. Yeah, because I got this Google Drive and it showed you like all the, uh, you know, all the shit that's going on. I just yawned for the third time in like the last two minutes. I need coffee. Oh my gosh. You want coffee? I really do, honestly, like. Yeah, wake up, you're like me. No, like, don't get me, I, I have, I get into, I fall into a yawning trap. I just yawn once I start yawning, but. I'm not gonna fall asleep. Like I'm up. I'm good. I just can't control my yawns. Can't be the only one, right? You're like that sometimes. I'm like that all the time. Yeah, you yeah. can't. You fall asleep way more easily in public than I do. Like I can't do it. Yeah, if it's not you fun. just do it. <laughs> and honestly, traffic's been insane today. Um, but I think it's gonna be like that for the rest of the week while people are like in for Basel, but it's been so bad, so bad. Thank goodness we have a car because I can't imagine. I can't imagine, you guys. Like, so my friends were calling a car and it would say like 40 minute wait. And I got trapped into that uh, last time I was here before we moved here. My best friend and I, oh, your food's ready. Yeah, please. Last time I came with my friend right before we moved to Miami and um, I don't know why I guess it was busy again and we got stuck and we didn't have a car so I got like sucked into the Uber and Lyft bullshit that was going on and you pretty much would call a car we were out one night had to call a car had no idea it was gonna be this bad we waited an hour I'm telling you and everything in Miami is like not that far really like an hour for a car mind you it kept saying an hour an hour and then sometimes I would call it and then we both call it to who would get it quicker and like Mart my car would like I'd wait like 30 40 minutes they cancel and it kept happening and then my friend would call a car and um, it would either cancel or be no available cars we finally got a car it would be like an hour later I kid you not it was the worst experience of my life and they were so overpriced. So anyways, I feel like this is just as bad. Like my friend was calling a car earlier at the event I was at and it was like 40 minute wait. 
my god. Do you want to ride? Like, it's insane. I'm so sorry. And the worst thing is, like, when they cancel, it's just my heart breaks. Okay, at first, I did not think I was going to eat because I had, like, the pasta at the last place you guys saw at dinner. And Lyle just came in with these tacos and the smell got me and now I'm like, I want some so bad. So he just went to go order some for me. I love him. But those, the smell in the car right now is unreal. The tacos at Bodega are so good. I highly recommend them. I don't think I've had better tacos. When I say that people are like, oh, you should try this place and this place in Miami, but I just haven't tried anything except Bodega. And I really like them. They're so good. And it's always so busy. So it's kind of a wait. You can see while I was in line. But they're so good and they're so worth it. And they're like, it's just like so reasonably priced. It's such a good spot. You can't beat it. So yummy. So I'm excited for my tacos to come. Another end of the night. Here I am by your side again. I've been